Welcome to Physics 350 Fluids, the beginning of the online section of this class, Spring 2020, and we will jump straight in with the strain rate tensor. So remember that we have the velocity gradient tensor, which is given as dui dxj, and we can write this tensor as the sum of a symmetric tensor sij and a sim antisymmetric tensor rij, where sij is given as a half du i dx j plus du j dx i and r i j is simply given by du i dx j minus du j dx i and you will find that if you substitute these two expressions into equation 1 up here, you end up with simply dui dxj. Now, the first one of these is known as the strain rate tensor. And it deforms a fluid element and is relevant for the stress field. The second tensor, Rij, is known as the rotation tensor, and it doesn't deform a fluid element. And it's not related to the stress field, as we will see shortly. In the last lecture, we looked at the diagonal components S, eta, eta of the strain rate tensor and found that those were simply given by du eta d x eta. And I'm using Greek letters here to signify that there's no summation convention used over the repeated indices. So all I'm saying here is that the first element of the strain rate tensor S11 is equal to du1 dx1. And you can find that in your notes from the last lecture. Today, we will look at the off-diagonal elements. of Sij. So let me just add here, this is diagonal elements of Sij. And now today we'll look at the off-diagonal elements of Sij. And I'll say this now, these are the shear strains and there's no elongation associated with these. Elongation is purely due to S11, S22, S33. 